Are you a maintenance personnel? A production supervisor? Are you somebody that deals with a distribution channel that works on other maintenance needs for people? Essentially, we can help you. We work on industrial electronics that we've been doing for the last four decades. These items include your AC drives, your power supplies, your I.O. modules, your temperature controls, your touch screens. It's a wide variety of things. These are the things that get destroyed by age, temperature, vibration, your environment. These are the things we can help you on. Why don't we take a few minutes here and go ahead and step off and show you what we're working with and I can tell you how we can help. Hey, welcome to our check-in area. This is where everything that comes through our repair depot gets checked in before it goes into our evaluation process. As you can see from the shelf, we have a wide variety of different things. Let me show you just a few of the things we have on the shelf. Right here is just a small limit switch. Essentially, there's circuit boards in there that detect the limit, whatever object it's meant to do, and we can go ahead and repair and calibrate these. Right here is a pretty common device. It's one of your AC drives. This is a Perhaps an Eaton Cutler hammer drive. This is something that we've been doing for a long time and we see plenty of, whether it's Eaton or if it's your Scour or any other manufacturer. Right here is the touch screens. Essentially, we have the abilities to get manufactured overlays to replace these. We can replace the LCDs or even the circuit board or the components on, on the inside, if you will. Right here is one of the the funny unique items that we get in, which is a temperature controller that probably predates my own birth. Essentially what this is is a, a rusted beat up unit that we can essentially still go through and repair the circuit boards and get this unit operational to prevent any kind of retrofits or anything like that to a machine. The one joy I get is every day that we open a box I find some unique items. If this doesn't make you smile when you pull out a box and then realize we can still repair it, then obviously you know you're having a good day. You'll see as you look around and just kind of pan around, you're going to see a lot of different items. We don't restrict ourselves to any specific item. We'd like to say one of the best things we do is work on AC drives, which you can see over here. That's something that we started our company on, like I told you before. Essentially what we're going to do is I'm going to get through the check-in process, let this rem representative get back to work and get this item checked in. And I'll go ahead and show you the evaluation process and get you to where the techs are actually working on the bench. Let's go ahead. Here we are at a technician's bench here who's finishing up the evaluation process. Essentially what he's done here is disassembled the unit to look for any catastrophic failures or any issues that might be affecting parts availability to complete a repair for you. When he completes the evaluation process, he'll reassemble the unit. He'll essentially get with our admin side of the business that'll essentially send you a quote. This process generally happens within about 24 hours from the time it receives to our dock. If you basically get to the point where you decide that you want to go ahead with the repair, we do have an approval process that even allows you to get things within a 24, 24 to 48 hour turnaround for any kind of emergency situation. Um, if you de decline the repair and essentially it's not worth your time or it's not economical, we can go ahead and send it back to you at no cost or we can even scrap it for you if it doesn't make sense. Once everything is done and we've gone through the process, I'm going to show you the next step which is pretty much the repair and the testing phase of one of our standard drives that have come through here. Why don't we go check it out and see what we got going on. Here we are at a technician's bench where he's going ahead and finishing up a repair on a Yaskawa drive and also testing down the motor. James, can you help me figure out what you did to this drive and what was wrong with it? Well, the input was shorted. I'm guessing lightning and I replaced the diode block so now I'm testing it on the motor to see, make sure everything's okay. What else might you have done? Um, I also changed the fans and the electrolytic capacitors and I'm going to run it on the motor about two hours. Is there any reason you go through all this extra effort? Damn. We're innovative, home of legendary customer service. Give us a try.